she accepted. Why? Because the Bible says that the devil's got us in, got people in bondage. He's controlling their thinking. And so you can pray to him and say, Lord, I accept you and uh, receive it. Now, it says, they are dead, they shall not live, they are deceased, they shall not rise. Here it's talking about the, the dictators over Israel. And you see, the dictators are dead, but Jesus lives on. Yeah. Hitler is dead, but Jesus lives. Stalin is dead, Jesus lives. Mao is dead, but Jesus lives. Caesar is dead, but Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. There I was at a hospital, St. Luke's Hospital, and I said, I said to the uh, gal behind the counter, I said, uh, you know, our God is alive. Jesus is alive today. You know, you come to church and you feel something. You know, I don't think it's always a bad word. And you sing those songs, and man, I'll tell you, it just moves you. Why? Jesus is alive. Amen. And his Holy Spirit is with us, and he's alive. He's the living God. The other ones are dead. And uh, I said, he's the living God. And the gal behind the counter, she says, that's right, she says. He took me off of crack cocaine without even withdrawal symptoms. That's one of the most addictive drugs there is. He's working in the world today. He's working in our lives today. He's the living God. The rest of them are dead. And we can pray to him and we can get answers to prayer. It says, they're deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation. Now, O oh Lord. Thou hast increased the nation. Now here it's talking about Israel. They were taken as slaves to Babylon. And then uh, God brought them back. And again, uh, the prophet Jeremiah has said that they would be in captivity for 70 years. I mean, he didn't say 69 and a half. He said 70 years. Because the prophets of God who wrote the Bible, they were very accurate. They were like Gene Dixon. Somebody made a statement.